Google Ads conversion tracking is extremely important for a couple of different reasons, not only to track the performance of your campaigns, but also to give Google information about the different conversions that are happening so that they can use their own machine learning algorithms to go out and find more people that are likely to convert for your Google Ads campaigns. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of kind of how Google Ads conversion tracking works. Um, a little bit about how to set it up and then I'm going to create some additional videos in the future to go more in depth. So this should just be a bit of an overview for you. So when you're running uh, Google Ads campaigns for a service-based business, meaning you provide services to clients, there's a couple of conversion goals that are going to be really important. The first is a submission of a lead form. So if somebody fills out a contact form on your website or your landing page, you want to be able to track that so that you know somebody contacted you through a contact form on your website. And there's a goal already set up for that, submit lead forms. So if you go to new conversion goal and you click website, then submit lead form is right here. So you can click that, you can name it, set a value. So it's important to know what the value of your conversions are for future bid strategies like optimizing for return on ad spend. So for instance, if a conversion is worth $400 because uh, the cost of our service is $800 and we convert 50% of leads into customers, we can just take our total cost or our total revenue per customer divided by two because the conversion rate is 50%, add that number here, and then we know the value of those conversions as they come through. And then we, for a lead form submission, you only want to count one because, you know, it doesn't matter if somebody fills out the form three times, it's just one person that contacted you, right? Um, and then you can pretty much leave these the same, click create and continue. And it's going to give you a tag that you can put on the thank you page, which I'm going to get more into depth in, in future videos. Um, but that's kind of the basics of setting up a lead form conversion action. The other important ones are phone calls and there's two different types. There's uh, phone call leads, which is when somebody calls the Google ads call extension number that actually displays on your ads when somebody does a search. So if somebody searches for your services, they see an ad and there's a phone number displayed there. If they click on that phone number, it's going to register as a conversion here. And then I always like to use call tracking software like call tracking metrics or call rail. Uh, there's a bunch of different call tracking software out there, but you can integrate it with Google ads and it will report that information back to Google ads. So for this is a call rail setup. So there's first time phone calls and repeat phone calls. We really care about first time phone calls because that's when someone becomes a lead. So anytime somebody calls a land, uh, a tracking number that's on the landing page that we're running ads to, whenever somebody calls that number, it registers as a first time phone call and gets registered here at, in the uh, conversions. And then you can see there's a conversion value. So we've set a value for each of these leads. And so over time we can tell the value of these leads as they come through. And then lastly, booking appointments. So if you offer people the ability to uh, schedule a call with you, then you can have a book, book appointment conversion action, and that'll allow you to track how many people have actually booked calls uh, you know, from your campaign. So that's kind of a brief overview. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of different types of conversion actions. Uh, you can start getting into app conversion actions. You can import different ones from Google Analytics or even offline conversion events. Uh, but I'm not going to get too into that because for most people, online sales, link clicks, page views, signups, the website conversions are going to be a majority of what you're going to end up using here. So if you do have any questions about Google Ads conversion tracking, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. 
I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you